I wonder where Brad is taking me to dinner. Good thing. Welcome to Professor Genki's Mind Over Murder! Brought to you in part by everybody's favorite alien overlord, Sinyak! That's right, folks. The Maven of Mascot Mayhem has teamed up with the Conqueror of countless galaxies to create an all-new Genki experience. As folks at home know, by exploiting weaknesses in Zinyak's meticulously crafted simulation, our contestant has gained the power of telekinesis. But they will have to master the power of the mind to complete the challenges ahead of them today. I can now see why the professor was so eager to join forces with Zinyak. This should make for an interesting addition to the Genki family of games. Right you are, Bobby. So let's meet our contestant, the winner of Genki Bowl 7, and our favorite contestant, the President of the United States. And that's it for our first match. Excellent job by our contestant. Sid, we can get Miller, right? Um, are you really sure about this? I mean, I know he can help, but it's Matt Miller. We don't have a whole lot of options. You bet, boss. Can we use a little floated robot or not? Well, I give Sid the proper cipher to connect to Matt's personal simulation, and he opens the gateway. Here goes nothing. I was shocked when the boss picked you to be the vice president, but you ended up working out. That's only vaguely insulting. Look, you sound just like Julius Little. Putting a guy who betrayed you in the number two slot seems like a great way to get killed. I'm nothing like Julius. Kinsey, we're ready. I'm sending Sid the jailbreak. Any last advice? When you're inside Matt's virtual oubliette, there's a decent chance that I'll be focusing on interfacing with the intrusion countermeasures, so pay attention to the console commands. Any last advice I'll understand? Don't get killed. Gotcha. Matt Miller, the 
self-proclaimed hacker guard ran all the cyber terrorism for the syndicate back in Steelport. Now he's Asha's right-hand man at MI6. So are you giving me a gun, or am I saving Matt with polite conversation? Well, you don't have superpowers either. Oh, great. Now there's a bunch of nonsense on the screen. It's the command prompt. Just give me a second. Here we go again. Damn it! The camera's screwed up. <sighs> I'll just have to deal with it. Nothing I can't handle, sugar. You gonna give me a hand or what? I'm trying, but I'm not used to the code they're using. Give me a second. I'll face tough of prom queen. Could it be as simple as 3D? Kinsey, no! Oops, sorry. Finger slipped. Now we're talking. There should be three data towers controlling the security to Matt's prison. Nothing fancy. Just blow them up, right? Well, I wouldn't want you to go outside your comfort zone. I must say, I am amused at this attempt to save a man who tried to kill you once. <laughs> eh, what's a little attempt at murder between friends? All the same, what is it you hope to accomplish? Mr. Miller is beyond your help. Sweetie, you should know by now. No one ever tells me what I can or can't do. <sighs> Very well. Your futile attempts do entertain me, after all. That's a lot of time. Destroying the tower should destroy the tanks with it. Miss Kensington is rather astute for a human. Yeah, well, big towers controlling security on a linear path. Not very creative for your superior intelligence. Ugh, touche. That's two. One more to go. Thanks a lot, Kinsey. For what? For this not being a calamity like last time. God, are you still mad about that? I said I was sorry. Honey, it's not like you ate the last lemon cake. Last time we were here, you turned me into a fucking toilet. Take the thank you and be done with it. The last tower will be down in no time. Oh, I don't think it should be that easy for you. He's made the tower invulnerable. Hang on, I'll find a workaround. Didn't they warn you about gals like me? They're everywhere! Wait, let me try something. Too. Yet again, I am impressed by Miss Kensington. Though this attempt is as futile as the life of most humans. Oh look, an alien with a superiority complex. Surprising. Though this sentiment comes from more than just the Zin, my dear. Tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow creeps in this petty pace from day to day. To the last syllable of recorded time. And all our yesterdays have lighted fools the way to dusty death. Out, out, brief candle. Life's but a walking shadow. A poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage. And then is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot. Full of sound and fury. Signifying nothing. Honey, you talk a whole lot. It's a quote from Macbeth. No one cares.
They're coming up on Matt's prison. Kenzie, have an idea what I should be expecting? Chances are it's not a standard behind bars sort of prison. You'll just have to wing it. Good joke. What's the plan? Oh, and since I can't see what's going on in there, Dad will be able to help you either. Wait, you're serious? What is this? Before you, I place a choice. Walk through the blue door and continue to face yet more failures at saving those closest to you. Your race will live on borrowed time, and will, through your violent arrogance, wind up extinct. Walk through the red door, however, and I will release the humans whom I have collected. I will give them amnesty, and even a ship from my fleet to do with as they see fit. However, in choosing this door, you will willingly submit yourself to execution. This is the moment where you can prove to be the savior of humanity or its absolute destroyer. Where am I? This is your... Wait, is that Matt? Trapped in technology he doesn't understand in a cyber world he can't control. It's okay, Matt. You'll be out soon. Without Miss Kensington, very doubtful. Is this the island that pirate came from? Must you continue to display your plebeian intelligence? Don't you get all upset because your story doesn't make a damn bit of sense. I tire of this. Deal with her on your own. Ta-ta. Wait, wait, what are you... Oh, hell. Matt, I hope you're ready to see the real world. like the idea of us sitting around. Shouldn't we be picking up Matt? The kid could be in trouble. Keith, you gotta relax. The guy's an MI6 agent, for God's sake. He can take care of himself. You needed help getting out, and you're the commander-in-chief. That's a really good point. Why didn't we think of this earlier? Oh, I did. I'm just not a big fan of Matt. Kinsey, come on! Can't I get some payback? Got a little lost, big deal. Or he got a little dead, who knows? Oh, he's fine. He's probably having the time of his life exploring Zinyak's ship. 